The Ateneo Art Awards 2012 Sneak Peek is presented by The Ateneo Art Gallery Shangri-La Plaza Metro Society Y Style of the Philippine Star The New York Art Project funded by Marcel Crespo and sponsored by The cunning artist plans and makes his move. A cloud of uncertainty looms, and with it, the gamut of possibilities that he should never assume. While things unfold, he marvels at the sight of an accomplished feat. As in everything, timing is key. We are at a critical moment when ideas and their articulations are tossed into the current. The contemporary Philippine art scene is as dynamic as ever, and the world is taking notice. As more Filipino artists get catapulted into the orbit of a continually expanding global art scene, it can be argued that the depths of the imagination are slowly being fathomed. The origin of this personal and minimal forms is actually based from my experiences here in our society. As we all know that Philippines is very noisy. That's the daily hubbub of our country. And from that noise, I always try to find silence. I always try to find peace. That's why in my work, I always make this kind of work, which is very quiet and meditative. Cloud country is basically um, going from one reality to a dream state reality. I only work from images that I get from dream journal. Half our lives were asleep, so I wanted to bring something from that state. I uh, try to smuggle images from the dream, the dream world. So I thought that I would use the language of advertising to examine and to present a jeepney. No, meron siyang you know, yun, refracted na environment. It's interesting. This is similar to what Patty was talking about. Merong yung layers of refracting information, which is also essential to a lot of my work. So, paano nag, nag migrate at nag transforming information when it moves from one parang framework to another? So, yung pag travel niya. So, there's a continuum. Basically, how when we see things in our head, it's different from how we see things in reality and when we're dreaming we're sort of twice or thrice removed from that reality and our perceptions are again uh, refracted, deformed, no? um, we're looking at things or surfaces that are reflected uh, which is why I use a lot of reflective surfaces. Usually my works are a combination of images and pictures from different sources like movie posters of old movies and B-movies, illustrations, anything pop culture, and from mass media. Parang ni-recreate lang ulit, ang recreation of our recreation. Parang song ni I've gained the understanding that sculpture is a place and experience. It's not just about object. Our identities are shaped by its own environment in the country where we were born, the city where we live, or the place where we are. It's derived from a Shakespeare uh, quote, but basically the, the exhibition is basically retracing my roots. My grandfather came up to Baguio City to construct Pine Cinema in the late 30s, basically trying to document all the remaining movie houses in Baguio as well as in Manila. So it's all about media and how media is being used today and its uh, purpose. 
I started cutting stencils shortly after I joined Filipina Street Plan, a collective of uh, street artists here in the Philippines, started by Mark Salvatos. The primary goal of the collective is to erase the word vandalism na nakatay up sa street art scene dito sa Pilipinas. During that time, maliit pa lang yung street art scene dito sa Pilipinas. So, ngayon, nag-boom na siya. Napapansin nyo naman siguro when you drive along EDSA. I grew up Christian. I grew up, I went to Catholic school and we always had these saints. And I wanted to make something that was something people could see, not really revere. It's a starting point of uh, to discuss what is paradise. For me, I'm trying to bring dream sequences into the real world by making them or rendering them visible. When you walk through the, the, the installation, I'm actually inviting you to walk through uh, the universe of dreams that I have. I have my ideas, but I always invite audience to participate in the work. Because I do believe, like what Duchamp have said, that the painting is not done by the painter, by, 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 by its viewer. I may not have a full consciousness of what I want to do or what I understand, but my mind is conscious to the automatic transcription of my hand, which is making things, which is carving. Every time I went home, I always started obsessing with the filming, capturing, uh, reality. This has been my dream project for, for many, many years and that's why I wanted to also go back and do it there for them because I thought it doesn't make sense to film them if I'm not doing something with them, for them. One thing that I really learned is you never underestimate your audience. You know? I think it's really bad to think that if you go to the province or anywhere that you cannot show work as is because actually I knew that they're visually very, very evolved. They can really handle visual very, very well. So, pag naroon talaga yung ilalim ng canvas mismo, pinin ko ba nagkukot ko ako parang ano eh? Parang bata ako nagahantay ng surprise. Na, pag nabuksan mo ko ako eh. I wanted to make an altar of change. I don't know, I wanted to go through the process of like becoming a better person. I was really happy when I made this. I really did feel a sense of like release. I'm just really happy to share my work with you. It's really personal and it's very spiritual. Everybody at some point in their lives, they have this experience. You feel like everything around you is just negative. And in that sense, um, that's how I conceive my shows. It's always the entire show as one work, in a way, because I explode the ideas into all these different objects, so that when you move through the show and look at the paintings and look at the objects, they all stimulate no, different things and allow you to weave your own narrative. For me, that's really one of my primary really primary concerns that the viewer themselves um, insert uh, themselves in that experience so that the references also explode, you know? so that the, the meanings can become personal, can become related to me, to you, or to, to other people. As the Ateneo Art Awards gears up for a milestone, the ninth year takes the theme, Sneak Peek. This anticipatory stance, as we approach a peak in the history of the awards, serves not as a statement of fact, but as a call for introspection. With a dazzle of recognition, we are likewise called back to the core, to reminisce, to hope, and to work anew.